Hey folks, well it's sort of the calm before the storm out here. It's a beautiful fall day, but there is a big storm rolling in. So I'm going to go take some shelter in the tiny house. i got lots of work to do, so I'm going to try to keep my talking to a minimum. So just so you know, that's where we're headed. I got that interior to finish. If you've seen in my last videos, that's a big job. So let's do, uh, let's do a little less talking today and do a little more working. So heading into the tiny house. Here we go. Hey folks, welcome back. As you can see, I'm in the tiny house. I got all my work wear on because I'm going to actually do some work today and I'm going to try to limit my talking. But before I do so, I want to give some props to a guy named Rob. Uh, Rob, if you're watching this, thanks very much. I'm using your tip today. And the tip is basically about how you hide the gaps between wood when you install it on the interior surface of like a tiny house. If you saw my last video, when you put two pieces of wood side by side and you just butt them, eventually what happens due to expansion and contraction, you might have some shrinkage of that wood. And as a result, you can see between the wood and you end up seeing stuff like this pink insulation in behind and it looks horrible. Rob gave me this idea that you can use felt paper in order to put a black surface behind that wood that butts up so that when it does open, all you see is that felt paper, which is black and pretty, uh, looks pretty good. So that's what I'm doing today. So thanks, Rob. And oof, here's what I did. I uh, stopped in at Home Depot and picked this stuff up. This is just uh, light duty 15 pound felt paper. I don't know what it's going to cost you in the States here in Canada. It's 27 bucks. Which, if you think about it, this whole roll will do the entire interior here. So that's awesome because a gallon of paint here in Canada is like 40 bucks Canadian. So 27 versus 40. This is a lot less mess. I don't have to wait for it to dry. And I think it'll work out easier. So thanks, Rob. This is the, this is the thing I'm using today. So uh, let's get this put up. And then I'm heading back to the shop because I need to plane some boards. So that I can actually get in here and get this finished. So here we go. Alright guys, well the light's fading so I'm going to call it quits here. That was quite the ordeal just to get this lower section done. So as you can see from floor to ceiling, well to the top of the wall instead I guess, I got that done. Still have to do up top there. Going to get around to that but I think what I'm going to do because the light is fading and I've got no lights in here. I'm going to head into the shop and start to plane some wood down so let's go do that. Alright folks, we're back in the shop and that's a good thing because putting up that tar paper with one man was quite the job but uh, we got it up nonetheless. This right here, this is the DeWalt 733 thickness planer, and if we pop around here, you can see, pretty much like the one you can find in Home Depot, however the models have changed, now you can get a 735 and I think a 734. Anyways, this is, uh, this is uh, the planer I'm going to use, I'll tell you about it later. And the reason I want to tell you about it later is I have a heck of a lot of wood to get planed, and I want to get that planed so I can get back out to the tiny house and put it up. So I'm going to stop talking and get down to work. So here we go.
next morning and I sort of got pushed out by the night last night because it was getting a little late and if you know anything about these little portable planers they're loud as heck so didn't want to wake up the neighbors five miles over so shut her down we also had a pretty big storm so I brought this whole setup inside uh, day went well though I got some work done yesterday I'm gonna get that wood that I did mill or did uh, plane put up in the tiny house so that's what's coming next anyways it was a long night so I'm a bit pooched here I'm probably gonna be moving a bit slower today but regardless I appreciate all you guys tuning in and make sure you come on back next time when I'll be putting up the wood on the inside of the tiny house so thanks for watching folks and we'll see you all then